Lucy and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you come back for more of my videos. And if you enjoy this video, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. For today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a haul, which I haven't done in the longest time. But I have been picking up a few bits online over lockdown and I wanted to share them with you guys because you've been asking over on my Instagram where I got some of the pieces. Without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm going to start off with a few non-clothing items first, the ones that are a bit random, and then I'm going to get into the clothes and then I'm going to leave the most exciting one until the end. The first thing that I picked up is actually a staple and if you're a dancer or you work out then you need a foam roller in your life. I got this one off of Amazon. It was not too expensive. I got it on Amazon AE, so I will leave it linked down below, but I know most of you don't live in the UAE. I like to roll up my muscles at the end of every day, and I really feel it makes such a big difference in ensuring that my muscles aren't achy at the end of the day. I do actually have one of these in London, but I didn't bring it with me here. So I just picked one up on Amazon, and that now means I have one in London and one in Dubai, which is ideal. This one is pretty good. You can get them in pink and stuff, but I just got the black one because it was the cheapest and it had good reviews. Next up is something that I've wanted to get for a long time but just have never done it. You know those things that you always have on your list of oh I need to buy that and you just never do and that is blue light glasses. These are the ones that I picked up. My ring light is going to reflect in them but they are just a transparent frame. I have been doing loads of editing at the moment and also all my classes are online obviously because of COVID-19 so I'm looking at my computer screen so so much and I know that it's really bad for my eyes and my eyes get very tired and sometimes it gives me a sore head. So I picked these up they are just cheap ones off Amazon they probably won't last forever they're not very sturdy but I thought I'd give these a go to see if it makes a difference and if I feel they do make a difference then I could invest in a more expensive pair but I have been wearing these almost daily and I do think it is making a difference. My eyes definitely get less tired when I wear these. Now moving on to the clothing items that I got recently. I am going to be trying all of these pieces on so there will be try on clips overlaid over this. First up I'll just show you the top that I'm actually wearing. This is a crop top from Fila. You'll be able to see it better in the try on clips. It has these gorgeous multicolored strap and the matching multicolored logo here. I'm literally obsessed with it and so many people have messaged me asking where I got it. I got it on Namshi but I'll try and find a more global link that you could use if that makes sense because Namshi is only in the UAE and the Gulf. Next up I have another feeler top which I got at the same time as this one. This is actually the first feeler items that I've ever owned but I love them both so much. And that is this gorgeous white crop top with a kind of crossover front halter neck. I don't own anything with this kind of neckline. I love the royal blue ribbon around the edges and obviously the pink feeler logo is so nice it's just super super comfy goes with everything and I feel like a black crop top and a white crop top are essential I've had loads of cheap white crop tops in the past but they go super super gray really quickly so I'm hoping because this one is slightly more high quality then it will do better next up is a bikini which I actually only got yesterday my mum very kindly got it for me and I am not going to try this on because I don't feel comfortable showing that much skin on YouTube but it is this gorgeous lemon yellow bikini from H&M it's outside in and it is so nice being honest the bottoms are slightly too big for me these are a size 10 I probably could have done with a size 8 but they only had a 10 or a 6 so we thought that the 10 would be better because I often find when bikini bottoms are too tight they can be unflattering so it's better that they're a little bit big they're not going to fall down or anything they're just a little bit big and then there is the matching top it's just a classic triangle top and it just has a clip at the back I think it is so so pretty I don't know anything in this color my mum got me the top in the eight and it is a really good fit the back is quite tight though for an eight I'm quite small around my ribs and my back and I have to wear it on the looser setting so that is something to think about with this top if you are gonna get it maybe actually consider sizing up next up I have some gym pieces now when I came out to Dubai for lockdown isolation I thought I was only coming for four weeks so I brought loads of gym legs 
leggings but for some reason i thought all my gym shorts were here when actually they were in my flat in london i don't really know how i did that but anyway this meant that i had no gym shorts apart from one pair that my mum had let me borrow of hers however i've been working out every single day so one pair of shorts wasn't really practical because i had no time to wash them so i picked up two new pairs of shorts over on namshi again which i mentioned before both the shorts that i picked up are from nike and first i got these nike pro just basically plain gym shorts i think mine are actually a size large yes mine are actually a size large i definitely could have done with a medium but i picked up the large because i thought i'd need a large to fit my thighs but i really could have done with a medium but these are really fine anyway because they're so stretchy they kind of would fit any size i think they're so so comfy really lightweight great to work out in and yeah just a really good purchase if you want to be doing workouts when the weather is hot the second pair of shorts that i got are something that i just ordered on a whim when i was doing the order and i thought oh, i'll probably hate them and i'll just send them back but actually they're my new obsession and that is a pair of cycle shorts my friends would tell you they would not have caught me dead in cycle shorts last summer they all tried to convince me to get them i was like absolutely not make my thighs look ginormous not a chance i still don't think they're the most flattering things ever but they are so so comfy and so practical so i picked up these ones they have this amazing thick band at the top which i love then at the bottom they have this nike tick and they're more of a cottony fabric so they do get a little bit more sweaty but they are so so comfy i've worn them so much these are a size medium and these are a better fit than the nike pro short so probably if i picked these up in a medium that would have been better and the final things i have are three t-shirts from namshi and then one final exciting thing at the end i also didn't think it was a great idea to bring many t-shirts with me to dubai i don't really know why i packed in a panic my mum told me i had 24 hours to pack and get out of the country before the borders closed here so i didn't pack with much logic i just kind of threw in anything i could find so i picked up a couple of t-shirts just to have for around the house for when i've done workouts and i just want to chuck a t-shirt on the first one is from a brand called ginger which i actually bought a rucksack from before which is kind of random them. and it's just this plain light blue t-shirt the neckline is slightly high but it doesn't really bother me that much it's just a normal length i usually tuck it up into my sports bra and on the back it says bye ciao adios see ya it was very inexpensive and it does exactly what I want it to do, which is be a comfy, casual t-shirt that I can just throw on if I'm going for a dog walk, after a workout, just to chill around the house, and it's just perfect for that. The next two are two Topshop t-shirts, so they were slightly more expensive than the ginger t-shirt. This is the first one. It is a navy blue t-shirt. It has a little peace sign, a love hut, and a little daisy. It is a size 8, UK size. It's definitely more tight-fitting than the first t-shirt. The first t-shirt's definitely more baggy and casual this one is a little bit more fitted and the final t-shirt i have is a slightly more dressy one but i am obsessed with it is also from top shop it's the petite range and it's a size eight and it is this gorgeous sage green i think that's what it's called it has little ruffles on the edge of the collar and on the edge of the sleeves it is fitted and it is just gorgeous i love the fit of this t-shirt it's so comfy and it's such a nice color and it's kind of got a ribbed effect on it which i really really like but i think it is my new favorite t-shirt the five the final exciting thing is my new babies and these are my Nike 270 Air Max React trainers in the pink, the white and the black colorway. I am obsessed. I saw so many people on Instagram with this colorway and I wanted them more than anything. They were in my Instagram save post for so, so long. I really did need to buy a new pair of trainers because my trainers here are very old. These weren't just for fashion purposes. I also did a lot of reading saying that they are really good for cushioning your knees and your hips and your joints because I am currently dancing and working out on tiled floors. So it's really, really important to have a trainer that is gonna support me and protect my body. I could find these in other colorways on Namshi, Amazon, ASOS, but I really, really wanted these ones. And these trainers aren't cheap, so I wanted to make sure I was getting the ones that I really, really loved. And I'm so, so happy that I waited to get these ones. We actually found them on Foot Locker Middle East with 30% off, which was amazing. And my dad very, very kindly bought them for me. And they have just 
been an absolute godsend they are so comfortable they did give me a blister the first time i wore them because this comes up quite high but since then i've had no issues no more blisters and they are very bouncy when you run or jump or anything and you do feel super supported I feel like they support my ankle well and that is all i have to say i'm obsessed with them i love these trainers and i cannot recommend them enough that is it for this video as always i hope you guys are all doing well i hope you're staying safe please let me know down in the comments how you are doing i love to chat to you guys and that is it for today's video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll speak to you all very very soon thanks for watching bye